So, hello and welcome to another episode of The VoIP, guys. Um, back to our asterisk tutorials uh, series, introducing asterisks. Uh, we are talking about today uh, dial plans and how to set them up. Um, so, Matthias, introduce us to the concept of dial plans. Um, last time, what did we last time just talk about it? We registered two phones. Mm -hmm. One is the soft phone on my computer, and this is that one. Mm -hmm. And the other one is here on our desk. Yep. It's a hardware mm -hmm. telephone. Yep. Um, then we can have a quick look at our configuration. If I say zip show peers in the asterisk console, we talked already about all that stuff. Um, then I can see I have the two phones. One has that IP address, the mm -hmm. other one has the other IP address. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then last time we also mentioned if I try to call something, mm -hmm. I'm Matthias here and I want to call you, James, then yep. I just want to dial 100, for example. I dial that. And what happens, he says, call from Matthias because I dial something mm -hmm. to extension 100, rejected because of extension not found in context phones. Back to these contexts again. Back to those contexts again. Okay. So, um, first thing is that we talk about the concept of asterisk mm -hmm. and what is a context and what is a dial plan. Okay. So, um, the first thing you have to understand is that asterisk is organized in contexts. Okay. So, you can define a context um, for each thing. Yep. You can say all my phones, if you pick up the phones, start in context phones. Okay. You can say every call which is coming from outside mm -hmm. goes to context incoming. Okay. Yeah. If I want to uh, do an outbound call, it goes to context outgoing or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is a context? A context is a kind of namespace. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do things in there mm -hmm. and they do not touch the other things in other contexts. Okay. So uh -huh. if mm -hmm. you're talking about extensions, yeah. then there could be context A Yep. with extension 100 mm -hmm. and context B also with extension, extension 100. Yeah, okay. So it's yep. a, a different namespace. Mm -hmm. um, we will start first with only one context okay. to be not too confusing. Okay, yeah, that's probably the, a good start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, only one context. Um, we will define it. If you pick up a, a phone, then mm -hmm. he will go to the context phones. Yeah. As you already saw in our asterisk CLI, mm -hmm. um, it tries to go to phones. Why is this? Because uh, we told in the zip.conf file mm -hmm. that each phone should go to that context. Okay. We can have another look yeah, okay. uh, to that again. Okay. Um, and this is the first step to not to understand what con uh, to understand the concept yeah. of context, but not how we should use them and how we yeah. should mm -hmm. grow just to keep it simple. Okay. We just start with one context. And then there is another thing. The call starts in mm -hmm. that context. Yeah. You call the whole thing a dial plan. Yeah. And then he looks, what should I do now? Mm -hmm. And he looks into that context. This context does not exist or mm -hmm. there are no configuration lines in that context. Yeah. So he says, I can do nothing and mm -hmm. stop here. Yeah. Okay. So how is the dial plan working? Mm -hmm. He searches for an extension or yeah. whatever you dialed, you can also dial a name. Okay. But yeah. It's not usual you dial yeah. a number. Um, he searches for that number in mm. that context. Yeah. And then he tries to find that number. Okay. And you have mm -hmm. to define that number. Yeah. And maybe if I uh, call 100, mm -hmm. then he has to search in that context for the extension 100. Okay. And then he does something. Maybe he logs the call in okay. a log file. Yeah. Maybe he had, makes a look up to a database. Uh -huh. Maybe he does, I don't know, but at the end, he should do a call mm -hmm. to you. He should dial yeah. your phone. So it's basically the configurations behind how yeah. the call is uh, put mm -hmm. together and broken down again. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's um, one line after the other. Mm -hmm. So you say, first, if you dial 100, go mm -hmm. to the context, blah, 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 search for 100, and do first that one, second that one, third yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy, and it's line by line what he should do in that case. Okay. And this concept is called a dial plan. Okay. It's very easy, mm -hmm. but it can uh, become very complex. I can imagine, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially with uh, large systems. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we will have a, a look to the basics okay. now and see and try to understand why that happened. Why um, did we get that line? Mm -hmm. So 
The first thing is we have to go to etc asterisk zip.conf again. Mm -hmm. This is our zip conf as we left it last time. And here you can see that context. Yep. Last video I said just ignore it, mm -hmm. <laughs> but now we have to explain it. So here you can define the context and this is the starting point of the dial plan for those two telephones. Okay. If I want to, I could say context James and mm -hmm. context Matthias, then there would be two different contexts. They mm -hmm. could not see each other and I have then to jump from one context to the other. Yeah. But to make things easy and to yeah. start and to understand it, we just throw every call into the context phones. Okay. So this is the first thing we have to do. The second thing we have to do is um, to configure the dial plan. There mm -hmm. is the main file where you can do it. It's called extensions.conf. Mm -hmm. And as in one of the last tutorials, we just copied mm -hmm. because it's really huge. Okay. And the documentation is again inside. All right, okay. Um, and maybe it's very confusing for you. Okay. So we call it extensions.original or mm -hmm. something like yeah. this. And then we just do a, uh, do a trick with a echo, uh, echo nothing into extensions conf. Mm -hmm. And then we get an empty file. Aha. Uh -huh. Now another editor. So we have an empty file here. And I want to start with an empty file because to explain all the concepts and okay. um, that we can define something. So first we do is define a context. You can do that in brackets mm -hmm. and you say phones. This opens a context. Okay. You can have more of them. Blah. <laughs> it's a special context. Yeah. And those are our namespaces. There are some predefined contexts, we mm -hmm. can talk about them later. I just want you to understand okay. um, what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then we have to write a kind of dial plane okay. in that context. How does that work? You say x10, make that error, uh, and x10 means extension. Yeah. And then you say 100. And then you say one, that means first you do. Okay. And then you can um, provide an application mm -hmm. like no op. No op is a great application, it does nothing. It does just print something on the asterisk C line okay. if you want to. Mm -hmm. So it's good for testing. And then we say first line. So, and then we can say yes. That's not enough. Again, if somebody dies 100, yeah. second, do again, no op. Second line. And because we're going crazy now, we add a <laughs> third line <laughs> and we say hang up. If you do not hang up a call, then it waits for a timeout okay. and then it just hangs up. Okay. Okay. So this is our short dial plan okay. and we can try now if it works. What do we expect? If we dial 100, it goes to the context phones, it searches for 100. Mm -hmm. If we dial 100, yeah. then it first should print first line, then it should print second line and then he just should hang up. Okay. This is not very useful, but yeah. it's useful to understand the concept. So I go out of there. I go back to the asterisk CLI. And now, as we mentioned before, it's not directly online. You have to reload the dial plan. Yep. And there is a special um, um, command line. You can say dial plan reload, then it only reloads the dial plan. Okay, that's quite a useful little tip. Yeah. And the next important thing is um, you can see errors. Okay. If there are errors in your dial plan, if you made a mistake, mm -hmm. then you could see now. And now if we are lucky and I dial 100, then it should find our context and print the lines. One hundred. Maybe the verbosity level is not high enough. Uh, 
I gain. It was not high enough. Mm -hmm. Another tip, you need um, three Wii's okay. to see the right. output. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, and here you can see now what happens. At last time, we just get the error message. Yep. And now we can see he searches for phones, for mm -hmm. the context phones, and at that context, he searches for 100, and he does first, first line, then second line, and then he hangs up. Yep. So that's it. And here you can see your channel, mm -hmm. your channel ID, who you are, mm -hmm. who does this, and what's going on. Yep. Okay. So I think that's far enough for our first tutorial. Okay. And we are lucky that we could <laughs> type something and that we can see the response. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's next? Um, in the next tutorial, we will try to really dial another telephone. Okay. But mm -hmm. the concepts are the same. Yeah. And then we will try um, to make it even better because what I now typed is the most expensive, the most longest way you can type a dial plan. There are many short things that you can do it okay. very fast. Okay. Um, and we will see this okay. stuff next time. So there you have it. Next time we have shortcuts and so on. Thanks very much for watching. If you want more information about uh, Pascom and MobyDick, please visit our website, www.pascom.net. See Thanks. you. Bye.